What are you doing, buddy? Are you looking for the bottle? Now, have you seen any bugs? Uh, Tiana just mentioned that she we do it every like kind of two or three weeks when they're young. Yeah. Um, but Tiana just mentioned that she saw what she thought was the white specks. Um, if you look at her eye, okay, it's got a white cloud. It almost looks like she's going blind in the eye. Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Mark here, uh, my wife and daughter, Tara and Tiana, and they are just getting water um, from the house because our water spigot uh, or line is frozen uh, going out to the barn. Uh, so if you look around me, you can see we are quite a bit whiter than we were last week. Uh, what had happened was we had a, a blizzard come in. The, the blizzard of the century or the blizzard of all blizzards or something to that effect. Uh, it wasn't quite as bad as they anticipated, at least not here. Uh, there's some areas that actually got uh, probably about four feet of snow uh, up in the uh, Interlake region. Here we got about uh, a foot of snow. So we went around and uh, hooked up the snow blower back to the Kubota and we went out and, uh, and, and snow blew yesterday, which was actually pretty, uh, pretty heavy snow. Uh, so we've got our water here now. We are going to head out and uh, feed the animals. Hey Billy, how you doing bud? Daisy's there in her house and I imagine the other two, oh the other two are actually uh, over there. So Levi and Meadow uh, are over there. So they're already out making their rounds. Levi, Meadow! Come on Levi! Oh there they are there. Come and get it. Snow's too deep again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the paths that they had made over the winter are now uh, snowed back in again. <laughs> well, Billy's going through his routine of uh, scratching. Um, his horns normally are a green color because he rubs that paint off. <laughs> it's still windy out though. Uh, yeah, it's a little breezy. Uh, so we have Meadow here and Levi, so that is uh, father and daughter. Daisy's uh, shedding like crazy. Is she? Yeah. yeah. With the warmer weather that's come on. Uh, Daisy's in the barn there. Carl, what are you doing? See, this is, um, this is what you get when you have an intact male. Uh, they like to pee on themselves because obviously they don't have an uh, Amazon uh, account and can't go and buy perfume <laughs> or uh, cologne. So they, uh, they use their own cologne. Uh, if you fix a goat, uh, they, uh, they, they stop that habit. So if you were wondering that. Hi, Billy Jean. How's the kids? How's the kids? Okay, bud. So this is Joe. This is Joey. Because Joe, we got names now. Yes, and I was going to ask you because so the gray one I is Ross. I was remember all of them. The gray one is Ross. Okay, Ross. The snuggler is Joey. Joey, which is the boy. They're both Joe boys. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, that one's the girl because oh, it's got right. the white, the small this white is, spot on the head. This is little Giz. Little Giz. Joey. Joey. Because Joey likes to snuggle. And you got him, and then, okay, so Chandler. Snow. Spice. Snow and spice, of course Snow you should spice. be able to figure out which two those are. Right. <laughs> now, uh, Snow is a girl and Spice is also a girl. Yes. Yeah. And little Giz is a girl. And little Giz is a girl, which is Coco's. Yeah. The boys have already got a home. The three boys are going. They have a home. Yeah, so we kind of messed up on the uh, on the boys. There was one boy that we thought was a girl which it's this one right here and that's chandler and that's chandler you called the other one chandler no yeah. ross, is ross yeah you said Joey. chandler and you confused me yeah, <laughs> this one, okay wrong so that's chandler 
And then the little Oreo one there. Moana. 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 Okay, well, throw me up because it looks like a little cow. And then we have the other two girls are adopted. So we have Maple. So Maple is, of course, the lighter one, the girl. Oh, actually, this is right. Yeah, they're both girls over there. So Maple is which one? The light color? Okay, hang on here. <laughs> They're going to a home that previously adopted as well. Uh, this is why we say, you know, like we love if you've gotten goats or animals from us in the past and you're already an approved home, then how about it? Let's share. Um, so they're going to where Bonnie and Clyde are. Okay, and that was was that last year's or two years ago? Two no. Yeah. I want to say ago. two years ago, yeah. Yeah, so they're adding, uh, adding a few more girls. Hi. <laughs> Chandler. He Hi, was, Holly. He was trying to jump up Hi, on Moana. me. Hi, Moana. 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 Hi. <laughs> Hi. What? Yeah, yeah, some different colors this year, so that's yeah. good. You know, uh, sometimes we get all the same yeah. color. Oh, which is which can make know, it a right? little bit more difficult to tell them apart. Of course, moms know best. Mom, moms are here. Moms are here. Uh, Who's ah. that? Hey, hi, Chandler. Uh, okay, so something that I um, read on. Uh, somebody had asked a question about when the best time is to band the boys. Uh, now, when you saw outside. We had, um, we had Billy that was, um, well, peeing on himself, and that's what intact males do. Um, Sh uh, Sheldon outside, of course, he's been fixed or banded, uh, and we don't have that issue with him. They just make nicer, cleaner pets, I guess you could say, when, uh, when, they're, not, um, when they're not doing that. Um, so the best time to band a goat uh, or fix a goat would be when they are between eight and ten weeks old. Uh, so I have done some reading on social media where people are actually saying to do it within the first week. Uh, so you don't want to do that uh, because what can happen is uh, their package is uh, fairly small and close to the body. So the band can actually get a little too close and even affect the urethra. Uh, and what can happen after that is uh, there can be crystals that are formed uh, in the urethra, which can cause a lot of pain and discomfort when they're older. Uh, so, of course, it is a little bit more difficult to band them when they are older uh, because they're, of course, a little bit larger. Um, but you want to make sure that they've dropped far enough that you're not going to be affecting the urethra uh, when you're putting on the band. What are you doing? You want to jump on me? Is that what you want to do? Hi. Now I got to learn all your names, right? Chandler. <laughs> so this one we actually thought was a girl initially, uh, but it turned out that um, he had a little bit something extra hanging down on the back. So <laughs> uh, now the other thing we don't do is we don't disbud them or uh, dehorn them. Uh, so they have little nubs that are forming here. Um, people do it more so for, from what I've read, people uh, do it because of safety of themselves. Um, these goats are brought up very friendly. Ooh, what's that? Now they do play fight with each other and headbutt each other. Uh, we have never had any issues with them injuring uh, any person uh, because of the horns. Um, we don't disbud them. You can, it can cause things like scurs, especially in the males, uh, because the males are, uh, their horns are usually a little bit larger. Sorry, it's going up on too. No problem. Uh, so what Tara's doing here is she's putting on some diatomaceous earth. Um, <laughs> and what that does is it will, uh, it's basically a dusting for them. Now we have used an actual dusting agent that you would pick up at your vet. Uh, but what we found was, um, actually no, what we had, it was a liquid that we put on last year, or two years ago. 
uh, and it caused the um, caused the goats to start losing their hair. So we just went back to the natural way, which is using either fireplace ash or diatomaceous earth. What are you doing? What are you doing? And the most important, like with the moms, is around their butts. That's where the babies are. Bellies. Now, have you seen any bugs? Uh, Tiana just mentioned that she, we do it every, like, kind of two or three weeks when they're young. Yeah. Um, but Tiana just mentioned that she saw, what she thought was the white specks. The eggs. The eggs. Yeah. Well, and that is very, ooh. <laughs> Uh, that is very common. Uh, every year, um, there are bugs. And are you going to try to get that one? Tiana's going to come to the rescue here. It says, Mom, what are they oh. doing? What are they doing to me? <laughs> um, and it's likely uh, just because bugs, you know, they go dormant over the winter. And oh, then they come back alive. They could what? be actually in the hay. Um, they're inside the building, so uh, it's just inevitable. It happens every year that you get eggs and you get bugs. Um, so it's just um, just good to make sure that you're uh, watching for that and you're treating for that. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Did you, did you get? You didn't get those two, did you? Yeah, I got everybody. Did you get those two? Yeah. You want me to grab them? Yeah, I got them. Okay, I was gonna. I was gonna wrangle one oh, of them for you. Can, so. <laughs> can I go to one? so there are nine of the eleven goats. Uh, we'll go and check in on our two house goats shortly, uh, and we'll talk about them. That's David and Daphne. Hey, Holly. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right. So everybody's dusted up. Now it's for these ones. Can't tell if you've done snow. Yeah, no kidding, eh? <laughs> <laughs> just make it a nice experience. Oh, I'm just coming to pet you. There you go. It's the moms that are like, we know what you're doing. Yeah. You know, we know moms. that's not food. If it was food, then they'd be all over that, of course. So with the moms, this is where you really want to do. Because that's where the babies are. Underneath there. And then, of course, the back of the Ooh, neck. Oh, you missed a little dust Around crab. the ears. This... Yeah, yeah, she's good. He, that's a fluffy one. Long hair. Okay, I need the... Uh, Petunia. Nope. Oh, can't reach. You want to go in? Okay. Nope. Mom's got her. Got her? There we go. Huh. They're fine. They just know I'm doing it. Which is funny because it actually really helps with a lot of different... Uh, it helps with shedding. You know, it just dries things out. The thing we'll do this week too, Tiana, is we'll uh, shave the mom's bums and like just clean them up. Yep. Good. After, yep. Yeah. All right. Good. Now we're gonna go pout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or play. <laughs> the mom's gonna pout. <laughs> oh, there we go. Go do some feeding. Must be second breakfast. All right. That's called a comforting bottle. <laughs> uh. Alright, so then we have Blackie. So yeah. we learned a little bit about Blackie's condition. So we don't typically call vets. We did in the beginning, but we typically don't call vets anymore. Um, Unless it's something that we don't that know. That we need a vet for. Yeah. So do your research. If you're going to have these animals, um, don't be afraid to do the research, check them out, you know, and know what you're doing, you know, and don't be afraid. Um, if you have questions, of course, I'm always here, and if I don't know, I'll tell you to call a vet. But you learn through the years. Can I'll get you to come hold her. Um, if you look at her eye, 
Okay, it's got a white cloud. It almost looks like she's going blind in the eye. However, we discovered that it's called, she, that it's called, goats can get pink eye. And normally, normally during kidding, after kidding, they can develop uh, the pink eye, which is just from something getting in the eye and uh, causes a uh, pocket on the top. Um, so at first we were, you know, well, what's going on with her eye? It came on extremely quick, um, from nothing to the white dot covering her eye. I'll get you to turn her. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting because I don't want to, well, you, you were doing both, weren't you? No. No, well, no, no I'll, well, I, I'll do both, but I want that one. To minimize any complications and to oh, really? aid in the healing. Just move gently up. Uh, we want to make sure we're, we're treating. Yeah, just my eye that didn't go in her. That was my finger. Did I get it? Nope. There, there go. we go. Okay, good girl. You okay? I'm gonna grab the, the yep, ashes. I'm holding it. The, oh, you're holding it. So, oh. and what we're uh, using is uh, eye drops used for pink eye. Yeah, it can. It, from what I've read, um, norm typically it'll, it'll heal on its own, just like pink eye with us. It is very infectious. Um, so in other words, she's going to be in here by herself, and no, we will not be adding the babies in here. Um, just until that is cleared, and uh, she most likely will be outside before she gets to see the babies. Yeah, we were planning on, um, on bringing but... the kids out and getting them in with mom, but when this came on, yeah. uh, we didn't want to risk it. So Until we knew what it was, mm -hmm. you know, and now obviously knowing it's infectious, we don't want the kids to, to yeah. get it. So she's, yeah. th there's no other change in her at all. And it, it has gone down since um, since the beginning. Hi, Blackie, you want your oats now? Yes, I know. Yeah, and she seems relatively unaffected by it. Like, uh, she's pretty much the same. She doesn't hate me afterwards. It's no. just during. It's just, yeah, you just got to make sure that you reward yeah. them afterwards with a treat. Right here. You know, it's like cutting your dog's nails. Uh, give them a treat afterwards and uh, make it a little uh, more enjoyable of a process. All right, the kids are free. <laughs> so feeding time. So they are now three weeks old. And this is pretty much the ritual, so they know um, they know who mommy is. <laughs> oh, am I your mommy? <laughs> uh, okay, so we have uh, Daphne and David. This is Daphne, a little girl. Uh, so, as I was saying, they are three weeks old, and this is about the time where we switch from. What is it? Four bottles? Four bottles to three. Yeah, four bottles to three. They have been just drinking their um, their their four bottle regiment amount. Um, so we're gonna we it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we held them off a little bit longer uh, to make them a little bit more hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna see how they're uh, how they're gonna drink. They are eating hay, so their poops are still baby poops, aren't they? Well, David's has started to... Yes. Yeah, they've started to uh, firm up a little bit because they have started to eat that, uh, that hay that we've been leaving in there. <laughs> uh, so we let them out a little bit earlier, just so that they get to run around a little bit. Tara sometimes will run around. <laughs> says, Mama, Mama, bring the bottle. Oh, someone got smart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, the little tails. <laughs> all right, so we're all set up here. Uh, so in their pen here, they have some oats and they have some hay. Uh, and then, is that water in there? Uh, so, ideally have them drink out of, um, out of bowls, and we've done that in the past. 
where we've um, substituted the bowl for the uh, for the bottle. Who's going first? Whoever's more annoying. Yeah. <laughs> we can't can't get to it fast enough. Well, they do even at this age have a lot of uh, strength pushing the uh, the bottle out. So you really have to. You have to lightly hold it, but yeah. hang on tight. Hang on tight, and then you hang kinda, on tight with your fingers. Kind of have a little bit float. of suspension in the arm, <laughs> yeah. so you can kind of <laughs> let it go a little bit, but you're still holding on to the bottle. Because it can go flying. Yeah. Oops, and there's one. I do you see it went an inch out of my hand. <laughs> Right, so down to is it this is the full amount? This is seven ounces. I don't think they'll drink more than that. No, because they tend to slow down quite a bit right at the end of a regular feeding. She's starting to get a little sloppy now. <laughs> I'll fall off. She wants it, but she just can't put any more in. Uh, come on, a little bit more. Come on. Look. Oh, that's the way. There it is. All right. So now we put her away, and she will probably pee right away. So there's a rubber mat underneath uh, this sheet here. And uh, we've got other towels and things in place as well. So having to do uh, a number of uh, laundry uh, cycles. One a day. Uh, One load a day. All right, so it's now David. What are you doing, buddy? Are you looking for the bottle? <laughs> Your sister's whining. Baby, <laughs> you mad? Hi, monkey. <laughs> oh, I know. You're just, you get so excited, though. He always tries to go so low. How low can you go? <laughs> Up here. You don't have to fight it, buddy. We've gotten big. You don't realize how much yeah. bigger they are. Yeah. When he he tends to right near the end. Yeah. Kind of, it, he pulls know, it he, down. He fills up, but he gets uh, gets a little bit in his nose and his uh, yeah, probably a little bit into his lungs. He and then he, he sneezes, and then he he gets it out. He's done it from day one. Yeah, it says right towards the end. You can tell when he's full because it comes out his nose. <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear the raspy in his. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the sign that he's full. <laughs> but a little bit more. See, I don't think they'll, they like technically yeah. they're supposed to drink 12 ounces. There's no way they'll drink 12 ounces. No. This is seven and a half and they won't. Yeah. Man, we just give them what they need. Yeah. <laughs> I think as long as you keep like that daily, you know, amount kind of the same. So that is it for yet another video. I hope you are all having a wonderful Easter weekend. You probably have less snow than we do, uh, unless you do live in North Dakota or Minnesota, because uh, I believe they got a pretty good dump as well. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope you have a great week and um, hope to see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.